Hello and welcome guys. Welcome to episode 8 of The Witcher 2. Alright, so in the previous episode, uh, we saved Dandelion and Zoltan from the hanging that they were at. <clears throat> so we kind of convinced uh, the townkeeper to not kill them. My prices stay as they are, and I'll not join your guild. And also we uh, we picked so up some contracts Everything from the shop. notice board right there. Let's see. Alright, so the contracts are these, the Necker contract and the Intrega contract. And now we have, we have uh, an option. If we go by what the quest is saying, uh, the quest says uh, he began looking for books about these monsters. What will happen is if we go and read these books, uh, killing these monsters will become slightly easier as uh, you will gain knowledge which will start showing up in in the character screen if you go to knowledge part like we have uh, knowledge about dragons because uh, we fought with the dragon in the prologue and we managed to stick our silver sword up its throat and that's how we gained the knowledge about the dragons so there are two ways uh, there are two ways to gain knowledge on any monster one way is to find and read the books and another way is to go fight them straight up without reading anything and uh, the, uh, the knowledge ability level depends on a certain number of monster that you kill so if I kill a certain number of neckers I will receive a level 1 on neckers and if I kill some more, then I will get level two, and so on and so forth. Uh, you can, of, we can of course mix and match. We can go read the book, and then go fight these monsters. We can do that, and that's what we are going to do. And uh, these books are, uh, these books can be found everywhere in the world. Uh, if we keep our eyes open, we can find them. Um, but for now, since this is the chapter 1, uh, the game is telling us that the books are with a certain uh, bookkeeper. And if you take a look at the map, uh, this bookkeeper can be can be anybody from these craftsmen or not. So, um, yeah, so let's, uh, let's, uh, we'll do, uh, what we'll do now is to sell our... Uh, sell the gear that we don't need because we are almost reaching the weight limits currently so this is the first thing we are going to do and then we are going to find that bookkeeper all right guys Re let's do it hello again hello so how can we help you eh um you can trade with me Let's see, let's start with the armor because these are usually the heaviest, so leather jacket, we may need, yes, trousers, we may need, this jacket also we may need, Okay, quilted leather. We are definitely not going to need it. Let's sell it off. This is a duplicate of what we already have. Let's sell it off. Worn boots. Don't need it. These trousers give us a resistance to incineration plus 5. And this is oh okay so we can safely sell off this trouser because uh, this heavy leather trouser uh, has uh, a plus six percent to all uh, I mean incineration poisoning and bleeding so we can sell off this this pair of trousers
let's see what weapons we have to okay rusty dagger definitely we should sell small blackjack also I love this weapon but I'll have to let it go because it doesn't deal a lot of damage and it the weight is 14 so yeah small back blackjack club this sword we don't need uh, sword of the blue mountain we let's keep it for now I think we already have 234 weight now so let's keep it I don't think the books weigh anything so we can we can keep all the books except if we need money but I don't not right now so I won't sell them Oh, we have a lot of junk. We can sell them all off. So iron ring, yes. So that should take care of about one unit. Yes. Blue strap is junk. Uh, so now we are at 225. This looks cool. Alright, let's exit out of this. My prices stay as they are, and I'll not join your guild. Period. I urge you to be consistent. Okay, the game is telling us that if we come back to a shop after 24 hours, it may have been restocked. Alright, now that that's out of the way, let's save the game and uh, let's. Try to look. Uh, let's look the for that bookkeeper. Helps. I'll start with from this house. Um, oh, we cannot open the door to this one. A uh, fine mess you have here. Dwarves stealing so bread from the mouths of honest craftsmen. Right at the Elves house. wandering among decent <laughs> folk. <laughs> yeah, it's just oh. screaming in the old man. Let's try the next house. Witcher! Oh, in our gossel, we found you. Okay. Um, let's take a look around his room real quick. Okay, so we have two books. We have ooh, thirty-three orange. Nice. We have monster mora portrayal of features. Okay. Before talking to him, I'm trying to collect all the free items because um, he will have uh, some of these items already in the inventory of his. So I'm trying to collect everything before talking to him so that I don't waste my money in buying things that I can get for free. Orange and encrusted silver ring. Okay. Nonsense. Just nonsense. Dwarven enhancement, axe and hammer. Okay. And just for fun. <laughs> Good day. Good day That's indecent. What? Greetings. What brings you here, White Wolf? Make yourself at home, please. Do we know each other? I've heard, or rather read much about you, in the letters of the Rivian Diaspora. Well, nice to meet you. Einar Gausel. Fundamentally a trader in old curios, although I also concern myself with the non-human community. The non-human community. The non-humans in Flotsam are organized? We aren't. 
But we aid each other as best we can. I mainly collect taxes and announce the Commandant's dispositions. That'd make you a prime target for Yorvith. <laughs> You're correct on that account. He's warned me many times, and I've explained the need for my function to him just as many. Both in vain. It seems we've agreed to disagree. Well, the sword is his calling, the pen is mine. Hence, no meeting of the minds. It wasn't always this hard. Turned sour when several elven lassies disappeared. We lost our trust in the humans and the Scoia'tael ceased trust in us. Did they turn up? The women? No. I believe Necker's killed them. I remember Morel of the White Hands. She and her lover made a beautiful pair. That's sad. Hmm. Books in Flotsam? I wouldn't have thought it a profitable enterprise. Hey! Many foreigners come through here. Sometimes they buy books, sometimes they have tomes to sell. Yesterday, for example, Lady Sheila de Tansevo purchased items for a sum equal to my yearly dealings. Did she buy anything interesting? De Vermis Mysteries, the Exeter Treaties, complete and unabridged, plus a very expensive volume I'd rather not mention. I should add, as generosity must be praised, that she made a donation to the community, specifically to the Fund for Widows and Orphans. Alright, um, one thing I forgot to do was to read the books that I picked up, so... Godspeed! Witcher! Let me go into the inventory and go to books and let's start reading all these books, they may add to the knowledge. Alright, so uh, the books that we collected, the four books, one is about magic and power, it, uh, it uh, describes how mages uh, came into the picture and how they are liked and hated by whatever people. Then we have Monstrum or a portrayal, or portrayal of Witcher, this is about how Witcher is, oh no, I'm sorry, yeah, so this is about Witcher and how, uh, how uh, you know basically they, they they get trained in short play and basics of magic which is also called signs this is about the dwarves and how they are uh, they are being perceived in society 
and then the this is about Scoia'tael. Scoia'tael is important because it is the name used by the rebels fighting for the non-human freedom, and it means squirrels. All right, so now we can uh, talk to this guy. And Mind if I have a look at your books? Take your time. And uh, we can books in flotsam. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Digital. All right, so um. Yeah, so let's uh, let's for our quests. Let's uh, we need the books about Neckers and Andregas. So the first book, then Neckers. Uh, many of these books can be found for free uh, during the course of the game so I'm not going to buy anything that I don't need um, yeah so I just needed Neckers and and Andregas let's read those books and this should uh, up the knowledge Neck and nests are best destroyed with grape shot bombs. Signs, bombs, poisons, and oils are all extremely effective against the beasts. Hmm. Andregas are forest creatures that resemble arachnids. To exterminate an Andrega colony, one must set fire to its cocoons to draw out and kill the queen all right let's take a look at the attributes did it change anything yes so now we oh we have gained all the three levels against Neckers and Andregas that is nice Okay, so poisons are worthless on a Intrega and they can be easily tripped up, knocked down or immobilized by a trap. Okay, and for Neckers, Grape Shot Bombs. I'll keep that in mind. Alright, so um, Neckers and Andregas, they can be find, uh, they can be found in that portion, the, uh, the thing beyond the wall. Beyond this wall. So there's a gate in that direction. I don't give a and shit if we go out guild, of the gate, I'll not join that racket I'm nor sorry. change my prices. My weapons are superior, and that's how I aim to keep it. Shame. Please think it over. The guild helps and protects, and accidents do happen. Fires are common enough in smithies, and oh a my God, arm can shut make up. very difficult to forge weapons. You threatening me, dipshit! Piss off! And don't come back or I'll thrash you so hard even your plowing guild won't help you! Alright, thanks for shutting up. Alright, so yes, like I was saying, so beyond these walls there are those Neckers and Andregas and other maybe other monsters that we can kill and uh how uh, we can reach beyond the wall through a gate that is on that side and we are not going to do that right now uh, we uh, because we have to head out in the game anyway so we will go back to the tavern talk to everybody get some new missions and then we will head out so how can we first let me sell the junk that I have collected Poor elves.
Greetings! Alright, so all our friends are sitting here. It seems they're having a good time. <laughs> um, let's talk to Trish Look, first. Look, people! Wonders and miracles! Everything alright? How's it living with Roach's soldiers? Splendid. I know every shit joke that anyone's ever thought up. Plus, I've learned how to burp out the official title of the Emperor of Nilfgaard without reaching for beer. Shorty's told me about his 16 children, all named after Temerian troop divisions, and I know his nickname has nothing to do with his manhood. Nice to know that you care, though. <laughs> Glad to see you in a good mood. I think I actually like them. They're good people. One of them even proposed to me. Who's the brave man? <laughs> Sorry, that's a secret. And here I thought Roach's boys had an ounce of respect for me. <laughs> you my girl. Alright, so seems my memory is coming back. Let's talk about that. The massacre in Rivia. It came back to me, I remember. The angry mob murdering non-humans. A young boy with a pitchfork. Anything else? Death. Or a state close to it. I'm not sure. I felt life draining out of me. Uh, I was there. I arrived a moment later. Too late. Don't worry, Triss. They're only memories. We have bigger problems to tackle now. Something tells me that in recovering my memory, I'll find out a lot about what we're dealing with now. Alright, see you later. Welcome. Hey, Kido. Oh, fuck. You look strong. Care for a little contest? Sure. Let's. Too strong for me. Here's what you're owed. You ought to give Wiry Wilkes a shot. That was the easiest 15 orange I've ever made. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, let's go to the journal. Alright, next we can take on Wiry Wilkes for arm wrestling. This is a beautiful looking tab. I love those blue walls. Who's Welcome. this guy? Welcome. Oh, nobody. And who's this? Charmed. Nobody. Just don't start any brawls. Peace and quiet. Sure. Get it? Of course. I've got my eye on you. Me on you? Let's see what she sells. Oh, she sells junk. Maybe I should start selling my junk to her instead of those guys. What do you sell kind sir? You also sell junk. And what's downstairs? Wait, they dropped his shocking guard! Oh gods, pretend you don't see him. Don't look him in the eyes. Never ever provoke a witch. Damn right. Hello. That's because you're smoking. 
Wanna dance, white teddy? <laughs> oh, fuck you. We have you sinned, jump. forgive us. Been. Wait till he drops his fucking guard! You got it coming! What's going on here? A competition, brother. With the port closed, we're bored off our asses. Care to take part? What are the rules? The contenders put their coin down, winner takes all. The fighting rules. Drop your opponent and make sure he stays down. Complicated. So? Are you fighting, brother? Sure. Oh, yeah. He's a fresher like you, brother. Good for starters. Put your coin down. So, what'll it be? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let the dance begin! Punches lights out! Lights out! Wait till he drops his fucking guard! Lights out! Wouldn't want to get on your bad side. Up for another, brother. Mm, I hate cuties and I hated this fight, but I'll give it a shot. Who's up next? Corp Ransel, known as Flippars. Strange name. Flip Does arse. everything backwards, <laughs> sleeps in daytime, drinks before he eats, and tells women to get dressed before he plows them. Flippars. Show us your orange. So, what'll it be? Let's do this. I'm ready. Gentlemen, let the dance begin! Punches lights out! Kick the plowing bastard! Hey, champ! What? I can tell you're a serious contender. Far too good for this drunken riffraff. Believe you me, I know what I'm talking about. So? I don't know you. They call me King Ziggy, because I pay like a king. If you want a taste of fame and riches, look for me by the inn in the evenings. I'll take you to the right place. That was fucking poetry! Up for another, brother. Um, um not now. Some I'm bored. Okay, I can see Ziggy during the evenings in the tavern if I want more competition. Meaning, if I want to make more money. <laughs> Alright, so... Um... Tidy Deb. Yeah, we'll find him later on. Punches why you Only the gods the Christ has ate away those Christ. eight thousand. I can make no sense of this relic I have been entrusted. The gods have not granted me understanding of it. Perhaps Providence grants you luck, and then I shall give you this prize. Perhaps you will make better use of it. Thanks. Let's we have sinned, forgive there. us. Let's see what he has given us. <laughs> um, I don't know how to find out what he has given us.
God damn. I don't even know what he gave me. Anyway, I'll I can make no games. sense of this relic I have been entrusted. The gods have not granted me understanding of it. Perhaps Providence grants you luck. Oh, so if I roll some dice with him and if I win, then he will give me something. Okay. Um, this is my first game, so let's keep it at 5. Okay. It does not look as though Providence has given you favors. Let's roll some more dice. I I don't know how to play this game. Let um, um let's see. So I have dice. And I have got yes four plus three plus two plus one plus one, and I have. Doesn't this look better? I don't know. Oh, I win. How? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Give me that trinket. You are lucky, traveler, but not enough. It does not look as though the gods decree that you well. should bear up my burden. Only the gods know that the prize will fall to you. You are a liar. Monk. Do my eyes deceive me, or are you Witcher Geralt? What can I do for you? My cousin from Vizima claims you're good at dice. I can play. If word gets out that we've a good contender, better players are likely to show up, and the stakes will rise. Maybe even Ina Gausel or Sendler would look in on us. They're real masters. So, will you play? Um, not right now. I don't even know not how to right play. Not right now, thanks. Left hook! Watch out for the left hook! Poker face. Cool. Touch wood. What's behind this door? Ooh, a love bed. I remember this now. Yes, yes. Nice looking love bed. Okay, this uh, this room looks like a nice room to meditate and um, I'll try my hand at crafting let's see what we can conjure up alchemy formula Um, the Drok has a damage of plus 10% on the swords and gold 
Orioli has resistance. Okay. Petri's filter has uponus on signs. Okay. Ooh, Falca's blood has no toxicity. This looks interesting. Okay, I was hoping for some grape shot and most of these uh, items I already have so I'll give it a miss. Let's see if we have where we can put these three talents. I've totally forgot that we need to. <laughs> uh, Alright, so... Arrow redirection, yes I want it. I also want to redirect arrows towards the shooter. Bigger regeneration. I want this one. Alright. Alright, let's say. Okay, let's go upstairs and talk to talk to Roach real quick. And let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Damn that was close! Inkeep! Vodka! Tris Merigold! Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be alright. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. That got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Foltest? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltest died. And the dragon, was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. <laughs> Alright, so let's talk about the wedding. Why was it cancelled? No wedding, Zoltan. Ha! <laughs> the Bregan rigs broke off the engagement because some lump prick put it about that I joined the uprising in Vizima. My would be popper law refused to let a rebel firebrand join the family. And keep, where's our drink? It was like this. We got to Mahakam a week after the Grand Master died. Bought Zoltan an absolutely grand doublet, a pair of Garibaldi Krakows, and as a gift for Eudora, a jade stone as big as my fist. You we were broke as a joke by the time Dandelion threw me a bachelor party at an establishment called the Tight Lane. Next day, we went over to the Breckenrigs. They welcomed us in, sat us down, and proceeded to discuss the superiority of Mahakaman mining know-how over any other. And that went on until dinner. Just when I thought I'd learned more than I ever wanted to know about mining, they served the soup. You could have held a pen drop. Old Breckenrig rose and he says, A real dwarf works a mine, not chases fame on the battlefield. You'll never believe this, Geralt, but they served duck blood soup. It was as black as tar. They must have dropped lumps of coal into the pot. Ew. Eat, Breckenrig says, then proceeded to slop two full bowls of the shite. Old goat. Hope his mind caves in on his head. So, Zoltan, you mentioned joining the rebels. What's going on? Lorido said you're working with the Scoia'tael, Zoltan. I have done many things in my life, Geralt, but I have never stooped to banditry. The Scoia'tael don't consider themselves bandits. But I am no Scoia'tael. Okay, cool. Dandelion, what's up? Since when have you worked for Roach? Hey! Nobody said a word when you went out to save Temeria from the Grand Master and his mutants. Relax, Dandelion. I was just asking. Do what you want. You're an adult, kind of. <laughs> that wasn't very supportive. Laugh away. At least I decided to do something constructive. You used to spy for Redania. Now you're spying for Temeria. Some might call you a traitor. Ever tried to live off of poetry alone? The truth is, I'm a citizen of the world. As long as I don't serve Emperor Emir, I'm not doing any harm. 
Even B, Geralt. You play the spy a bit, get bored and drop it. You know how he is. Okay. Alright, let's talk about the dragon. The dragon? Well, the dragon appeared and that's all I know. But where did the Lavalettes get a dragon? We heard it fought on their side, huge as a barn, they say. Dragons don't usually take sides. Maybe its lair was nearby and it just felt threatened. If you hadn't driven it off, Foltest might not have taken the castle. Maybe. We'll never know for sure. Triss, tell us what happened after I was arrested. Triss, you're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbleton, Count Merivel, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. Ha! <laughs> Humans! In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. Wow. Was there any resolution? Did they ultimately resolve anything? No. It ended as usual. Sadly, John Natalis remains our only hope. Ah, the victor at Brenna, and Foltest's most tried and true field commander. Hmm. And during the deliberations, he was several days' march from Lavalette Lands, with an additional 2,000 armed men in tow. He's to keep the peace until a rightful monarch is chosen. He could find that ruling is to his liking. Natalis is a soldier at heart. He's not suited to rule, and I don't believe he even wants to. He's got the army behind him. Which is why he can guarantee peace. What, a tenuous one, sure, but that's always better than civil war. Besides which, he's deeply in debt to a dwarven bank in which Philippa Eilhart as sorceress holds a significant stake. Hmm. And I assume there are no mages around? Where were the mages? Aye! <laughs> Where were the grey eminences of this world when they were truly needed? They weren't invited. Neither was I. But if not for their intervention, or rather that of a few influential sorceresses, Baron Kimball would have taken the throne. I was invited to sing at his court once. Afterwards, he refused to pay me, and the food was awful. No way I'll stay in Temeria if he's crowned. Okay, that's enough. I think I've heard enough about politics. Foltest Killer lay in wait in the tower, where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute, what were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, then cut the king's throat from ear to ear. How did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorvith Scoyatel were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. And it gets interesting. Ooh, the Kaira. What sort of sorceress are you? A lot of good you did. Can't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. Where's this beast? Ask her. Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. 
Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. Let's say I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel. Um, I don't want to be mean with you. She did what she could, plus I wasn't there to witness what happened. So why don't you just tell me about the monster? All right. What happened? I came to Flotsam to kill the Cairn. Cairn? The monster that has effectively blocked the port. A moment ago, I had the good fortune to see it in all its splendor, but the local folk scared it away. Good fortune? You hear that, Sozek? That was some good fortune for you. Why is the beast in the port all of a sudden, eh? Summoned by the witch, perchance? To see it in all its splendor. So it looks like this witch called Kaden to do some whatever what she was doing. Anyway, she, Sozek needs to get out of here. Sozek doesn't look too good. Lay him inside somewhere. Oh, you're trying that black magic on me? Come on, lads! This sorcerer's eager for a thrashing! What? Stay down. I apologize for interrupting, but I am Louis Merce, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairn, the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher. Are we willing? I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. Fine. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir is a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Kairan was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold, sharp as ever. You're thinking that? Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood. All those disgusting marvels we take from dying species. To throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my. Your sense of humor seems to be intact too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt. You saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. You're partly correct. Cedric claims the Cairan emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward, pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there. On the upper floor. You know the inn's also a horror house. Thanks for the warning. 
Wow, that was a lot of story. All right, so now we have uh, we have the Necker contract. We have a contract with Entrega, and now we are supposed to kill Garen also. And this is a little too much for me right now, so I'm gonna take a break. Thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for the next episode. You guys have a good one. Bye.